Hello, everyone. It's me, Billy Unger, again with Physics Solutions. I'm working on this series called Adding Vectors. Uh, I've just done part one, and now I'm doing an optional part. So this part's completely optional, but basically what I've discovered is a lot of engineering students end up uh, you, being seen uh, or reusing certain special triangles, uh, specifically Pythagorean triangles plus the normal ones, the 30, 60, 90, and the 45, 45, 90. Uh, so I'm going to uh, do a little bit of special stuff on that and uh, determine basically the sign or the trig functions for various uh, special angles as well as the actual triangles themselves. So this is an optional part, but like I said, if you're interested or if you're studying trig where they use special angles, then that's, uh, that's also helpful because the trig angles are the 30, 60, 45 as well. So this will be helpful to all of you. Uh, again, it's going to be attempt, an attempt to make it short, so let's get started by looking at my document cam. So what we have here is the typical special triangles. Uh, looks like it's pretty decently focused. Not great, though. Okay, so uh, the one, the first one is the 30-60-90 triangle, so you see 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and then, of course, this is 90. Uh, you can always specify it by putting that if you want, but I think it's obvious from here that these are. Uh, and I want to break it down into what the sides are. Remember, the biggest angle is always opposite the biggest side. That's why the 90 degree angle is always opposite the hypotenuse. In this case, 60 degrees is opposite square root of 3. And because we're going to make use of it, the square root of 3 is 1.73205. OK. Uh, and I put all the other decimals just to let you know that, you know, when I'm dealing with something like two or one or five or three or four, uh, I mean, those are actually whole numbers and to an infinite number of decimal places. So this triangle is really special. You can see from it that basically the cosine of 30 would be adjacent over hypotenuse, which is root three over two and root three over two is 0 0.866025. Uh, that gives you a result. This is the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Uh, this one gives you for 45 degree angles. Of course, it also gives you for uh, 135 degree angles or for uh, 225 degree angles or for what? Uh, 270 plus 45 would be 315 degree angles. All those angles are you know, basically 45 degrees beyond uh, an axis. So that uh, allows you to use that 45 degree to determine the X or Y component. Uh, of course, from this, we see that the cosine of 45 is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 1 over the square root of 2, and the square root of 2 is 1.414. Uh, basically, the 1 over the square root of 2 is about 0.707, uh, so that's pretty close to what we need. Uh, also, the sine of 45, which is opposite over hypotenuse, is exactly the same thing, and you can see that that is obviously 1 over the square root of 2 again. That's about 0.707, if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, also from this other one, not only did you get the 30 degrees, you also got the 60 degrees. So the sine of 60 degrees is root 3 over 2. Uh, the cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. But you can also see that the sine of 30 degrees is 1 half. Uh, another triangle is the 3, 4, 5 triangle. Those angles aren't so pretty, but it is a Pythagorean triangle. So you always see, again, the largest angles opposite the largest side. So 51.34 degrees is 4, is opposite the 4. Uh, the 38.65 is opposite the 3, and of course the hypotenuse is, is opposite the 90 degree angle, and that's 5.000 is the hypotenuse. Two other Pythagorean triangles that I've seen in engineering uh, textbooks, specifically dynamics and, and statics books, are the 24-7-25, uh, also the 5-12-13. Uh, these angles, of course, are 16.26, 73.74. I'm mainly telling you them because I've written them a little smaller than I would have preferred. 22.62 uh, degrees and 67.38 degrees. Now that we know those triangles, we can figure out certain things. Like we can say the sine of uh, 30 degrees is equal to opposite of hypotenuse, which is 1 over 2. We can also say... Uh, the cosine of 30 degrees is uh, root 3 over 2, which I said is about 0 0.866025, more than enough there. Of course, you can also see that the tangent of 30 degrees is opposite over adjacent, so that's 1 over the square root of 3. Uh, if you really want to know what 1 over the square root of 3 is, you can just punch that in your calculator. Maybe. 
I'm having calculator difficulties. One divided by square root of three. is 0 0.57735. Okay, so that's how you can get that, but you can also get the cosine of 60 degrees. Cosine of 60 is adjacent over hypotenuse, that's one half, which of course everybody knows is 0.5. The sine of 60 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse, that is again root three over two, which is about 0 0.866025. Uh, tangent 60 degrees, which again, not necessarily anybody wants that, but this one's just the square root of three over one. So that's the square root of three, which is about 1.73205. You can see from this also with this triangle that the uh, cosine, I'll write it right here, cosine, 45 degrees is one over the square root of two. Of course, that's normally rationalized by multiplying by the square root of two over the square root of two. So it's root two over two. And that actually makes it a little bit uh, easier to see because you can see that one over the square root of two, remind myself, one divided by square root of two is about 0 0.707. Uh, which I remembered somewhat correctly, one seven. Uh, so that's good. The sine of 45 degrees is also one over the square root of two, which again is also square root of two over two, which again is 0 0.70717. So we've got some of your special angles already from your uh, your unit circle that you might have studied in, in uh, trigonometry. Uh, and these are really the only ones you would have studied in trigonometry is the uh, 30, 60s, and 45s. Here's the tangent of 45 degrees. And you can see the tangent of 45 degrees, of course, is one because it's opposite over adjacent. And that's where all those special angles came from. And that's how the uh, unit circle works in trigonometry. Obviously, uh, you can also do things like, uh, let's attack this one. This one, these two are much more rare. I'll do an example with one of them uh, in the later vector uh, edition videos, uh, but uh, they're not used as much in physics. So I'll leave that up to physics instructors, I mean, up to engineering instructors to, to do that. But I'm going to do it with this one because you do everything the exact same way. So for instance, let's take the cosine of 38.5 six, five degrees. Now they often hide this a little bit and just call it, you know, 39 degrees or they'll call it 38.7 degrees. That's fine. Uh, they're always referring to the three, four, five triangle when you get that. So this is something you can always use. So the cosine, which is adjacent over hypotenuse is just four fifths. And of course, if you know your proper fractions, that's 0 0.8. So that's a really nice one, but four fifths is normally the nice thing because the hypotenuse, when they're using the three, four, five triangle is always, almost always some nice easy multiple of, of five, like 50 or something like that. So if it's 50, then you're just going to multiply uh, cosine 38.65 times 50, and the 50 cancels out with the five, leaving 10, and that turns it into a 40. So that's why that's done that way. Uh, the sine of 38.65 degrees is, of course, opposite over hypotenuse, that's three fifths. Again, you should know these fractions. So this is 0 0.6. Remember each fifth is 0.2 or 20%. So one fifth is uh, 0.2, two fifths is 0.4, three fifths is 0.6, four fifths is 0.8, so on and so forth. And if you want to know the tangent of 38.65 degrees, that is opposite over uh, adjacent. So that's three fourths. And of course, that's 0 0.75. Again, these aren't special angles, but like I said, we use these special triangles in, uh, in physics and especially so in, in engineering. So let's now do the cosine of 51.34 degrees. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's 3 fifths, which we've already discussed is 0.6. The sine of 51.34 degrees is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's four fifths, which we already said was 0.8. And then finally, the tangent 
of 51.34 degrees is opposite over adjacent. So that is four over three, which is 1.3333, a non-terminating decimal. So I think that's more than enough of an introduction to these special triangles and how we're going to be using them. Uh, we can save ourselves a lot of uh, calculator work if we if we know these backwards and forwards. And I always have known these two triangles really well. Uh, this one, I sometimes don't use it for long periods of time and forget it. But if I see that two of them are multiples of three and four, so for instance, if you had a side like six and eight, I would immediately think three, four, five triangle, but then I do the inverse tangent of three, four, so I can remember what that angle is. That's the only, only thing that comes up from time to time. So that should be a nice ending to the optional video for vector addition, and I'll be posting more later on. Thank you for coming.